How you doing? This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, apparently, this rat on a plane stuff is more prevalent than I thought. I just found six or seven stories where Air Canada, Air India, were forced to return back when they found rats or a rat in the overhead luggage compartment. So we have an epidemic of stowaway rats on planes. So you better look in your luggage compartment the next time you fly and make sure the little furry little critter isn't peeking out you going eee. But I found this story. This is uh, from a couple of years ago on Versed Online. It's on a couple of other sites too. A Long Island flight attendant was accused of hiding pet rats in her pantyhose <laughs> and panties in order to sneak them on planes, according to a lawsuit. Veteran airline, American Airlines stewardess Luann Gambis-Batista, 55, says allegations made by three colleagues were absurd and patently false. And <clears throat> it turned her life upside down. The purported Willard witnesses included a pilot who helped her out of a van at the airport during a layover, in 2012, the pilot claimed he saw a bulge in her pocket <laughs> and saw what he thought was a live pet, uh, according to papers in Brooklyn Federal Court. Later, during the flight from St. Martin to Miami, a fellow flight attendant believed Gian Batista fed her pet rats. Now, the, the, the woman is an admitted animal lover. The co-worker assumed she was feeding her furry friend. She saw her eating a dinner roll out of a cup, but she claims the roll was for her. She hid it in the cup to avoid looking unprofessional in front of passengers. <laughs> and um, when they ratted on her, <laughs> when they landed in Florida, U.S. Immigration and Customs held her for over an hour to search her belongings. A lawyer for her said the claims of flying rodents are preposterous. I hope there are no flying rodents on these planes. <laughs> Everyone has pets. She has pets at home, not at work, said her attorney, Stephen Morell. She's not a nut. They're making her out to be a nut. <laughs> the airline put a flag in her passport. Though no others were ever found, no critters were ever found, Gian Batista said she remained blacklisted for more than a year with federal agents subjecting her to stops and searches every time she passed through customs, <clears throat> making it nearly impossible for her to report to work. ICE agents bullied her and threatened her with a strip search. Now, they're, they're going to strip her down looking for a rat. This is hilarious. I, I want to see the x-ray of that. The x-ray or and see if there's a rat hiding in her panties or her clothing or something. Uh, she claims she was put on display during one air interrogation <laughs> in the employee break room as other airline employees filtered out to purely to observe. <laughs> the situation left her with symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder, including debilitating anxiety. American Airlines refused to transfer to domestic flights. She could avoid customs. The 33-year vet, veter, industry veteran maintains there was no reason for it. GM, and GM Batista said why she was targeted. People said there must have been a reason, but there is none. She, see, she sought unspecified damages. American Airlines said it would respond to the claims in court. A dog owner, GM Batista, has gerbils and hamsters. Her lawyer said she's got a lot of different pets and said she had the rat and it died. Now, I don't know what rat he's talking about, if it's the rat on the plane or a rat in their home. But uh, this is funny. So the next time you uh, fly, better look for those rats and take a careful peek at the stewardess. She might be hiding something under, the, under those clothing more than just her uniform. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know if I want to fly to Arizona or LA next year. Rats on the plane. I got enough trouble with Ratty Patty and Kathy.
Have a good one. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs>